Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Hojo Borolo. This is day 9 of speaking English practice. Today I am very sick and I thought that I will not make, I, I can't able to make a video, video shoot. But after that I thought if I, uh, if I stop making video, then I will stop to speak in English, speaking English practice also. And it is very important that so when we learn something, we have to practice regularly. Regularly we have to practice that. Only that, that is the only solution to learn something. If I feel difficulties or we feel difficulties to uh, learn something, there is only solution is more and more practice. So that when I feel sick, then I thought uh, uh, maybe I can't able to uh, shoot a video. Then I thought whatever happens, I don't stop practice English. Minimum one to five minutes, I have to practice English speaking. Maybe it will be wrong. Maybe it will be right. But I have to practice. When I started this journey, I write script. And there was, there was a less grammatical mistake. After that, I thought if I write this script and learn by heart, then I speak, then I speak and shoot video. That, that is make a video. I have to practice more and more and fluently if, without script. That's why I can speak in English fluently. Now we have to learn also grammar. Mainly verb verb and we have to stock vocabularies that that will help us to speak in english after that there was uh, so many terms so many things that uh, preposition appropriate preposition phrasal verb etc 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 There are so many apps, so many institutions where we can learn spoken English. But uh, I, but I can swear that they, this kind of app or this kind of institution can't teach you spoken English if you don't want to speak in English. I also have done a course from a recognized and very popular spoken English uh, institution. There was 20 months course, 20 months uh, course of English language. It was in 2012. After that 10 years is left. But now I can't speak in English fluently. Even at that time also I can't speak in English fluently because there were there was there were so many students 
we have to speak in english if i if we want to speak to teacher but when we speak with our friends or our uh, classmate we don't use english word or we don't speak in english it is very important that when you learn something you have to thought that regularly and you have to practice it may be wrong it may be right you have to try 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 that is the only solution to get to get rid from afraid of speaking english i think i under um i could understand you that what i want to say uh my, i know my english is very fumbling and sometime it may be wrong it may be uh, right it uh, may be uh, may be sound well but i try and i i will try continuously that uh, i try it continuously until i speak in english fluently please comment me how do you like this video and uh, is it a good method to speak in english please write the write in comment box thank you for watching